Welcome to Hill Talk Tuesdays with Lisa, where transformation begins as we evoke, embrace, and evolve. Greetings, 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 and welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays with Lisa. It's so good to be here with you. I hope you are doing absolutely amazing. And uh, wow, we're already in the middle of almost mid-October and everyone is getting ready for the holidays. Believe it or not, I remember a few months ago when we were talking about my event coming up, it was like, oh, we've got four months to go. And then it was like, oh, it's only 20 more days to go. Oh, it's right here. And now we're talking about Christmas and all the ornaments that are out. So it's like life is just on the move. So I was wondering how are you doing how are you coping with change you know change is inevitable every single thing in our life changes as a matter of fact i don't think we wear the same thing twice in a row or do anything that is constant and consistent well our habits are consistent but it's not the same day it's not the same thing although it feels like it one of the things that I work with as a clinical hypnotherapist is for folks who come to me because they want to change a habit a habitual thing that has become a part of their behavior and it's no longer uh, working for them so actually I just wanted to take a sip of water Mm. by the way this is one of the best waters I've ever had it's called V3 and when I met uh, the owner which is Robert Beam and one of our sponsors for our 3e event when I saw the V3 um, actually we met what was it about two months ago at a private mastermind and I said oh, v3 has to be a sponsor of the 3e and actually it's one of the best waters with water with ph balance of nine point plus on it anyhow so if you want it you can just google it and it's a v3 um i'll put the link for you just google it put my name and you will get a discount and it will be shipped to you i drink about um four or four, five bottles of this and it also comes with CBD so in case you have headaches and everything it's the best water it takes the headache away like this anyhow today believe it or not is a national girl it's called the national day of the girl child and I was looking, someone told me, did you know that today is National Girl Day? And I'm like, what's a National Girl Day? So thinking about it, I went and Googled and it says, October 11, International Day of the Girl seeks to bring awareness and solutions to the unique challenges that girls around the world face today. Huh. And from the moment a child is born, she can grow up to be a scientist, author, business leader. Depending on where she lives, this young girl's challenges vary. Oh, really? That's not something new. And I, you know, nowadays there is a national day for everything. There is a national day for a pickle, for an onion, for grandparents. It used to be. But National Girl Day. So I was thinking about what's happening around the world, especially I've talked about this many, many times in Iran. Um, every thousands of women standing up and going against the regime, standing up, showing up, speaking up. And it's like, see me my life matters and it doesn't have to be in a color or it has it doesn't have to be in a religion it doesn't have to say uh mine and yours but it's all women all human beings human life matters 
so for us to have a national girl child day is tomorrow going to be a boy child day so every human matters and in special countries of what's happening I too stand up and I want to say kudos to every single woman who is marching and saying it doesn't matter if my hair is showing or my hair is in a different color I matter that said just a few days ago I had a client that I was helping and I put a post and the post was because one of my clients who came in here um, came here because months ago actually she was referred because months ago she was driving and held her little Pomeranian in her hand while she's driving and her children two of her young adults were in the back seat and she comes to a stop sign and it was a very harsh halt and unfortunately the dog hit the sidebar of the car and yes it was tragic and this moment the impact that it had of the the dog dying at that very moment driving taking care of this this happening the kids screaming her going into a shock and stopping and the people who were around to see that so one small little thing affected like a ripple effect this ripple effect of not only an accident that should not have been happening that could have been taken care of and the safety of the same way as we have the safety of our passengers either an adult or a youngster it's the same safety for the little ones our paws with the little paws and the four-legged ones so I know we love them I know we want them to have fun but if you or someone has done the same thing please realize that the effects of you managing the car managing the music talking to the back seat and also having a dog and holding on to it because sometimes they see another dog and they bark and this entire commotion it's like managing your driving so why am I saying this because when she came to me this is months it had happened months before but when she came to me it was already two and a half months that sh her shock and her guilt was still bothering her and she was referred um, it was guilt it was the shock and she could not get into the car and drive for the last two and a half months the reason I'm sharing it is because some said isn't that going against client privilege that you are sharing this information number one I have permission number two it is not someone who is right here local it was from another place so if it is you that it's in my neighborhood you won't know who it is third it was effects of the trauma that the kids experienced and what the kids saw and I took that case because I remembered years ago many many years ago when I was very young going to high school and I had a poodle and a tr something tragic happened and it was during the day rain and I opened the door and my poodle went and um, coyotes got him right in front of my eyes that 
tragic experience of the shock, the sound, and everything stayed with me for years and years. You see, our muscles have memory. Accidents, falls, an impact of what we see, what we hear. And it can be from the time that we are little children to adult time. It doesn't matter. This thing we call memory stays and impacts our lives, our days, sometimes knowingly, other times unknowingly. So it is, it behooves us that when we have some pain, some um, reactions that is like, I don't know where this is coming from. We go back in time, especially tapping into your subconscious. As a hypnotherapist, that's exactly what I do. Sometimes we hold it in so deeply. I remember things from my childhood that has impacted and my muscle memory has kept it. So throughout the years, I've done so much work on myself. And that's why I'm sharing this. I'm not sharing it to say, okay, this is what happened. This is kind of a client I have, rah, rah, rah. But the impact of what we do sometimes for the fun of it, not recognizing the ramifications. Number one, safety. Number two is that we don't feel guilty. Number three is understanding accidents always happen, but they don't have to. So, through hypnosis, in less than four sessions, we were able to have her get into the car and start driving. The kids are also already seeing a therapist, but one child that came, it was to recognize that the feeling, the sound, the impact, the shock system that had not worn off and we can release that so it's not impacting the eight-year-old much longer. And I don't know if you've experienced anything like that in your life, but I want you to think back and realize, is there part of your body that it's affecting you today is there something maybe traumatic that has happened many, many years ago that you have not resolved as of yet? Because I can help you. Guilt, shame, and blame are one of the deepest level of experiences and emotions that is truly deeply rooted and must. I like to call it must because working with my clients for so much, I've realized those are the number one things that to feel free, to feel better, to feel healthier, to feel as if you are like, there are no blocks. Those are the things that we work on. And when we think, it's like, no matter what I do, I keep going back. I want to feel better myself. I want to go back to who I am before this happened. Realizing there is no going back. We can never go back to any time of our life. But recognizing that whatever you do is like part of history. We open the pages of your memory bank to tap into your subconscious. And through hypnosis, you can go in much faster than any cognitive therapy. So when you are in that state of relaxation, we bypass your analyzing, judging, crit criticizing factor. That's what the critical factor is all about and get into the emotional aspect of it where the subconscious that holds all that information has absolutely no bias, reasoning and judging. It just is. 
So we tap into that. So it's just like, you know, if you think of a computer or if you think of a data, we just go in there to open a programming and modify, edit a page or a program somewhere, somewhere in time in your life. And once that editing is done, we archive the original information and save with the new information, the new page, the edited version, this version, and so that you can function healthier, happier, more joyful, and realize. This is the fastest and easiest way for you to find your joy, your health, your freedom, and function in your new way of being. Not going back to what you were, but your new way of being. So I hope this makes sense. And if you have any questions, let me see. Ah, hello, how are you? How are you doing? I don't know if you've experienced it or not, but hypnosis is such a natural way. You go in and out of hypnosis all day long. Even when you're driving a car, guess what? You go into that trance state. Sometimes you are driving, you're speaking, you're listening, you're putting your lipstick on or you're with your dog and not recognizing that the entire time you are moving forward to where you want to go, which is your desired goal, your desired destination. And by the time you get there, you go, ah, you, you park, you get out, you take care of the children, you take care of everything else. And that's what I call a Zen state. Or when you go into that zone, you are in altered state. So when we talk about change, you realize we change all the time from girls changing to womanhood, from womanhood to adulthood, from adulthood to elder. You know, our bodies constantly change. Our skin changes skin. We, our blood flow changes all the time our heart rate changes, uh, we are never the same as yesterday. Nothing about your body, your character, you, your behavior, even if you do the same thing over and over, it is not the same person as you were yesterday. Even the day has changed. So we go back to realizing a lot of people say, I fear change. And yet change is constant. I know when I thought about moving out of my office, which I'm going to be doing it, first I was so nostalgic and it was just like, oh, I don't want to move out of here. This is like home. It's been home for 18 years. But you know what? The moment I embraced and I said, yes, I welcome change. I've been looking forward to what is coming next in life. So what we think is scary, it becomes exciting. Things that impact our life, the good, the bad, the right, the wrong, who you are inside this body, who you are, the essence of who you are, the soul, the spirit of who you are is constant. In no matter what phase in your life you are. And the emotions that have impacted your memories and your experiences that impact your daily life, those can be modified, edited, so you can live your life to the fullest, a happier, healthier person that you are. So that's my message today. As a girl who is a woman, who is growing, expanding, I want to say thank you for being part of the Heal Talk Tuesdays. And I look forward to connecting with you next week. October 
is Domestic Abuse Month. October is a time of celebration, celebrating who you are. And it doesn't matter what you follow. But as a human being. And for that, I am grateful for being here. If you have any questions, by all means, you can always send me a message, email me, and I look forward to serving you or the people you love. Thank you. God bless you. And may the universal light surround you always. See you next week. Thank you for being here. If you want to check out some of the testimonials that I've got, click right here. But if you want to go back and watch other videos from a week ago, two weeks ago, even a year ago, click right here. See you next time.